hello and welcome to this hello and welcome to this video uh, in this video i will share you how you create a new legal entity second i will share you how you enable localization in g65 for finance and operation uh, when you are creating a legal entity hi friends my name is ali reza zaidi uh, i'm erp consultant at the time of recording this video i'm working for business experts gulf in the middle east region so uh, for suppose i'm going to create a new legal entity that works in saudi arabia so when you are working in a blank environment when you are deploy a real-time environment you there, there is only one legal entity that is that uh, most of the it's not good to create a new vendor customer and all those objects in that legal entity uh, currently i'm working on contoso data so there are list of Control. so legal entities are already exist so in this case for current scenario i will create a contoso legal entity that is worked in saudi arabia so for for this first of all i have to click on this hamburger sign and from here i will go organizations administration and if it is collapsed then i have to expand organizations and click on legal entities so in this form you will found all legal entities that is exist on that current environment as i'm already told you i'm working uh, on a demo environment so demo control so this demo data all these legal entities are already there so i am going to create a new legal entity and its name will be this uh, so its name will be Condoso Saudi Arabia so then there will be a company ID and this company ID must be a four character and all data in D65 for finance and operations will be identified with this four character that their data belongs to that specific legal entity so it must it cannot be changed we, we can't change it so for current example I create CSAA Contoso uh, and Saudi Arabia and region from this region i select these i apply filter and from this i select the saudi arabia and from this i click ok so new legal entity is created so first when we, we configure the legal entity uh, two things we have to update instantly that is time zone and language so we have a different because I selected already a language there will be Arabic but for currently for current current implementation or a testing legal entity I am going to use English US and time zone there is a the multiple uh, areas uh, for time zone remember my friends one thing that all transactions done in this legal entity are based on this time zone so you have to configure it and currently i am sitting in middle east region so in uh, in dubai so it will use the abu dhabi musk for riyadh i am going to select gtm 3 uh, gtm plus 03 kuwait riyadh so after saving that you have to update the address uh, when I select the address you can see default address will be a business address and business address is the, the specifically that all invoices all reporting will be target to this address there are multiple addresses are possible when I click on plus add you can see we can add our different addresses and address will be uh, in street straight country primary or all those information we can set and uh, set but it is the 
business address business address means that all the all the invoices generated on all the transaction generated where the address will be marked as business will be shown for example if i'm i am sending some invoice to a vendor then this business address which is mentioned as a business will be printed there so you can add address here similarly you can add contact information you can set company phone number you can add company websites you can add company uh, of email address all those information in contact contact information and then there will be a bank information for companies default bank information routing bank bank number tax all those information you can set set, uh, set here uh, then social insurance then you can update the default dashboard this dashboard will be shown on the uh, default page for example if i go on a click here you can see this picture and this picture is coming from that uh, that place so i'm going back organization legal entity and So I'm working in this legal entity. So from here we can change the uh, we can change this. And similarly, we can update or change the company logo. But whatever we upload here, that will be shown in invoices or all reports. And then there will be a default destination. Default destination means. Uh, when you run the report it will be print on screen or pdf pdf file so and then there will be a text information you can update the text information and text uh, 1009 so this is the basic information required for a legal entity now i'm going to share you the idea about how localized functionality will be work for this you can see this option drop down in uh, localized functionality for the region localized functionality for example if i'm talking about uh, um, taxation so different regions have a, di a different taxation for example if i go in usmf legal entity that operates in us Uh, and if I go on vendors and click this vendor, you can see uh, there is a tab for tax 1099 and all those information related to taxation for a vendor will be available here. And if I go for USM, uh, I am Indian legal entity INMF so uh, in India it's very uh, this is very different taxation GSD so for if I click click if, if I click and open the vendor there you can see there is a different tab for tax information VAT or everything there is no tax I there is no tax 1099 so all this uh, information for all these for all this localization will be enabled with respect to that uh, with respect to company's regional address for example if i'm going back to organization administration legal entity and again i'm going for my legal entity saudi arabia control so saudi arabia and all those legal entities this fun localized functionality enabled with respect to this drop down so there will be a chance that organization address will be a different and organization operates in a very different region suppose for example uh, a company is registered in oman or uh, you can say in saudi arabia but it will be operates in for, operates in a uh, ua so in that case you have to change this from this option you will find a 
a list of countries so if i change this localized functionality region to specific country so instead it used the company's address into address section it start to using from this for example i am going to select it from United Kingdom suppose so company is registered in Saudi but the it localized functionality enabled with respect to United Kingdom so this is the first video in the series of configured the d65 basic configurations see you in another video if you did not subscribe my youtube channel please subscribe it